Hello and welcome to another 3D Max tutorial. I'm your host, FreeW67, and today we'll be showing you how to create a multi-laned track the easy way and the hard way. Let's get started. As you can see, I already have an oval done, and I also have my original piece of track that I used before I start making the oval. So like I said, there are two ways of doing this. You could do it beforehand with this piece or after with this piece. One reason for doing it after is you can go in, turn some laps, and figure out do I need to take away grip here or add grip here, or maybe just have my straightaways you know, have more or less grip. At least you can go in and figure that out. Um, you know, a lot of people like to add a little more grip on the outside to try to spread the racing out or take away grip on the inside. You know, it, it depends on just the, the track condition you're making. Uh, so we'll, we'll start with the original piece. Now if you know you want, say, three lanes of grip on, uh, throughout the track uh, from the start and the high side of the track having, the, say, the most grip or the biggest area of grip. So let's pull up here. And here's what we're using now. Road A. Let's see, Road A. We're going to add two more lanes of grip. So what do we call it? Lane 2. It's, since we're using the road texture, we'll just copy that. We'll paste it in. Oh, wrong button. Let's copy. We'll call this lane three. If you haven't figured out by now, I like to keep it short and abbreviate. Okay. So now the bonus of already t having the track textured and set up how you want it is when you go to add, say we want to have this up here be the high end of the track. We want it the biggest, so we'll we'll make it lane three. Nothing changed. Since we're, we're using the same texture throughout, it's already mapped. We're replacing the texture, obviously, with a different material name, but it's the same texture. So we don't have to remap it. Once it's done, it's done. Even on a dirt track, it works the same exact way. So let's do this. Now you can see road A, lane two, lane three. Finish making the oval, and you have a three lane track. But remember, if you add lane two and lane three, you got to make sure your TDF has it. So it has lane one and lane two. Say you want to add another lane, maybe pits or a different grip, or maybe there's an infield little track you want to have separate. But either or, we need to add lane three in here. So we'll copy that paste it in, and save it. Done. So let's hit back in here. Now, let's go to the big track. Say we just want to adjust the straightaways. See, nothing's changed. Lane 2, road A, and then maybe give people help off the corner. see, 7, 10, and nothing's changed. It all looks exactly the same. Unfortunately, it kind of is that easy. Uh, you can do it afterwards. Now, if you want it each lane separate, yeah, it's going to take <laughs> a little bit of work after the fact. Um, I usually do use that tool to select so I don't move anything and you will have to select each you know, poly, unfortunately. But that's the plus of doing it ahead of time. Um, for instance, say if you don't even use multiple grips, if you set it up that way, you know, it's whoop de doo You know, it's not going to hurt. If you change your mind down the road, then you don't have to select poly by poly, poly by poly. But, uh, you know, it's not, it, it, you're just talking a couple extra minutes. 
Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them here on YouTube or over at my forum at nsrs.jlcentral.com. Thanks for watching.